Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Dr. Gottlieb. Welcome. I look forward to, to our visit this week. Uh, I want to, it's kind of a follow on to what Senator Baldwin has raised in your response here, but I want to, to speak about it in the context of a specific example, and that relates to genetically engineered salmon. As you know, there were millions of Americans that wrote to the FDA opposing the approval of genetically engineered salmon. A whole number of grocery stores have announced that they will not sell it. And despite all of this immense opposition, in November of 15, the FDA approved Aqua Bounty Technologies application through this new animal drug process. And it was approved through that process despite the application being for genetically engineered aqua advantage salmon for human consumption. It was the first GE animal approved for human consumption through this process. The FDA didn't have any mandatory labeling requirement. Instead, it said, well, it can be labeled voluntarily. We refer to this GE salmon as frankenfish. Nobody is going to voluntarily label it as such. The, 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 the valid question and concern is whether or not this fish should even be called uh, a salmon. And there's great fear that lies with these mutated fish that have not gone through a proper EIS. So the question to you this morning is whether or not you believe that genetically engineered fish and other animals for human consumption should be approved through the new animal drug process. And I, I'm looking for your commitment to work with me to ensure that we have a, a better process and hopefully a better solution to what many of us, particularly in Alaska, are, are quite concerned about as a, as a big problem. Senator, I, 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 I'm familiar with the issue. I wasn't at FDA when these issues were adjudicated as part of the approval process. I know FDA has recently issued guidance on this matter that doesn't address all the issues that you've raised here. Um, you have my commitment, uh, if I'm confirmed into this role, to work with you on it um, after I've had the opportunity to study the issue cl more closely uh, once I'm uh, at the agency, if I'm confirmed. 